after some requests. This episode will be about the American crocodiles and an awesome experience swimming with them. These crocodiles live from South Florida through Mexico all the way to the northern part of South America. They can grow up to six meters and weight almost a ton, but of course their average size is much smaller than this. In many places they can live in salt water as well. I had the chance to see these animals and get in the water in Banco Chinchoro, which is the biggest coral atoll in the northern hemisphere. It's found in Mexico, but close to the border with Belize. I wanted to talk about two things before I get to the actual encounter. First, why would anyone want to see in the water big saltwater crocodiles? Well, I can say that some of my customers were professional videographers. Other ones, just crazy ones, as me who wanted to see a crocodile, a big crocodile in the water since they were children. And the other one would be a question which many people ask, how is it possible at all to have a more or less safe encounter in the water with a crocodile? Banco Chinchoro is one of the only places where this activity can be done. One of the reasons is the good visibility underwater. Since this place found around three hours with a speedboat from the shore, usually the water is pretty clear, which is rare when we are talking about crocodiles. And obviously it's very, very important when we are talking about a three plus meter long predator and you want to get in the water with it. The other reason is these crocodiles are somewhat used to the people. Some of the locals have rights to fish around Banco Chinchoro. They're staying in huts built over the water and when they come in from the fishing in the afternoon they clean the fishes and throw all the guts in the water. The crocodiles got used to this and every afternoon a few crocodiles gather around the hut and these are the crocodiles which we can and observe in the water. So after an unusually long introduction, let's get to my actual awesome and scary encounter. In my first ever time with the crocodiles, first I got the two customers, two professional videographers in the water, and they had two local guides with a long broomstick each, taking care of them. This is the general rule. You have two clients in the water with two local, knowledgeable and experienced guides. But after a few hours, they got tired. Also, they needed to fix their cameras. So I took my chance and got in the water. Of course, the local guys knew that I'm a guide, I'm a dive instructor. So for some reason, only one of them came with me and the other one gave me the broomstick. I guess they thought that I can take care of myself or something. The guide who was in the water stood behind me, which was very good because this way I could at least be sure that from behind there will be no crocodiles approaching. But this also meant I stayed alone face to face with a three plus meter long crocodile. For some mysterious reason, ever since I was a kid, I'm not really afraid of animals, even the ones where I should be afraid. So without hesitation, I started to slowly and carefully, but still get closer and closer to this crocodile until I ended up less than less than a meter from it. And this was the moment when the whole thing hit me that I have in one hand a broomstick and the other hand a GoPro. And these are the only things in between me and a three meter long crocodile. And I never did this before. I don't know how they behave and what I'm supposed to do. So for a moment, a short moment, I really thought about what the hell am I doing there? And slowly I took a few steps back. I needed to pass a few minutes until I felt comfortable again. The remaining three days I spent hours and hours in the water, learned how to handle these animals, how to behave around them. I even learned how to push them away with the broomstick when they get too curious and get too close to the customers. We also got to the research center and visited the local scientists, check out the baby crocodiles. All in all, I got to learn a lot. Getting in the water with massive saltwater crocodiles was and always will be a unique experience for me. I was always interested to see crocodiles. They are like living dinosaurs and observing them in the water gives you a completely different perspective. But for me on a personal level, it's an unforgettable experience because this was the first time and maybe the only time when I felt the primal instinct of I need to get out of here, I'm in the wrong place, staring in the eye of a massive ancient reptile. For somebody like me who loves both wildlife and adrenaline, it's a pretty memorable moment. I would like to say a big thank you to Ecstasy Dive Center in Shkalak, who are the specialists 
of the crocodiles of Banco Chinchoro, and they're the ones who with I had the pleasure to go multiple times to visit this amazing place and experience time in the water with these amazing creatures. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to sign up to the YouTube channel, like this video, share and comment. All of this helps me to get this video to as many people as possible. Thank you very much.